within Green Lantern Legacy, there is a immigrant and refugee story in there because the, the main character, the grandmother, had a refugee experience. Um, and for me, it was an opportunity to kind of revisit the narrative around refugees and immigrants because to me, there, is, there are very few instances that, are, that show a greater heroism than, than the refugee experience. I know that personally from my family, you don't have to look very far to see examples of true heroism because they went through these unimaginable circumstances, right? And they emerged on the other side. Um, and so when I, as a, as a kid growing up, it's like, you can have all your problems and all and but then I'd always be like, but anything that I'm facing right now is nothing, pales in comparison to what my, my family had gone through. So when I was thinking about this story, it was like, there's this young kid who has a challenge of becoming a superhero himself. Um, but within his family, he has this example of heroism that he can, can look to. Is that something you're going to draw strength from? Or is that something that you're going to turn away from? So when I was writing this story, it felt very natural. A lot of people um, <laughs> asked me when I was writing, they said, like, is it strange to write a superhero story for kids? And for me, I was like, it's the opposite. It feels like the most natural thing in the world because an origin story is almost exactly the same and follows the same beats as a coming of age story. You know, you're trying to figure out how you fit in with the world, how you use your newfound powers to, to navigate the, the spaces around you. So it was, it was a great opportunity. And um, the refugee story in the book comes full circle because that was something that I learned about my grandmother after she passed away. I was at a, her services and I had just delivered a eulogy for her. And this family came up and they said, you know, when we came to this country, your grandmother showed up to our door with uh, bags of food and like ingredients and chopsticks and things from Vietnam that we couldn't find. And she very much like gave us the opportunity to kind of settle here. And she was very much about paying it forward in that way. Um, so for, for me, I feel like in the Vietnamese experience, the refugee experience is something that's uh, historical or in the past, but there's so many people that are living that experience now. Um, and I wanted to just kind of show that an example of heroism would be to to be there for people when they when they need it. So that was something that I thought was very important for me to have the opportunity to, to kind of pay tribute to that style and that kind of heroism that doesn't always get the same kind of shine as other superhero attributes. For more author interviews, please visit readingrockets.org. This author interview was produced through a partnership of the National Education Association and WETA.